Okay guys, it's June 1st, Monday. I can't believe it. Today for math we are working on lesson 9-5 and it's about Jonah's garden. And so we are going to use a grid to decide um, how this guy plants his garden. So meet me on page 286 and we're going to solve it by um, breaking apart multiplication stuff and singing our songs. So meet me on page 286. Okay, so here's what we've got. We're starting here on page 286 where it says math message. Jonah's garden is a rectangle with 16 rows for plants. Oh, rows go left to right. Rows go that way. He wants to plant two sections, one with 10 rows of carrots and the other with six rows of beans. Okay, so 10 rows of carrots. Six rows of beans, okay. Partition the rectangle and label the sections carrots and beans to show how Jonah could plant his garden. Okay, partition means to break up, break it into parts, and label them carrots and beans. Okay, so what do we know about how many rows of carrots he needs? He needs 10 and six of beans. So let's first check this. They said this rectangle has 16 rows for plants. So let's go ahead and label those with one through 16. So one row, two rows, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. Yay! Again, they go left to right. So this is one row, two rows, three rows, all the way down to 16. All right, so we need 10 rows of carrots. Well, then I'm going to make that pink. So I can just look down now that I've numbered it, and you guys can catch up too, number it. Uh, 1 through 10. This first chunk is going to be carrots. So this pink one is going to be carrots right here. Uh, it says label carrots and beans. I got the yawns. This one's carrots. And since beans are green, let's do the beans in green. And it says there's six rows. Let's double check though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yay. Okay, so I'm gonna put green here and label this one beans. All right, check us out. We did that. Number two says Jonah can plant nine seeds in each row. How many seeds can he plant all together? Show your work. And that's where you're going to do it on your own. I don't think it's wise to count each box one by one. That's silly. You guys can do it better. Think about this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is like six times nine. This is like ten times nine. There's your hint. You're doing number two on your own. So let's look over on page 287. This is the second part of our math lesson for today. The second part of our math lesson is what we've been working on for the last couple weeks, where we break apart our math problems. So I know I've talked on my Zoom a lot with my kids who go that breaking it apart for tens is easier for me. So I'll do this one first with you. So the problem is 7 times 24. Sevens, I'm good at doing, but this 24, I should break up. Let's break it up by place value. What is in the tens place for 24? If you said two, you're right. Two tens is the same as 20 and four ones. So 24 is the same as 20 plus four. So I can make a new problem down here to do seven times 20 
and 7 times 4, like this. And then 7 times 4 equals. And if you think back to what we know about what we've done before, we know that 7 times 2 is what? 7, 14. Oh, it's 14. Tack on that 0, 140. Then 7 times 4, 7, 14, 21, 21, 28. Add those two together. I'll write it big over here. 8 plus 0 is 8. 4 plus 2 is 6. 1 plus nothing is 1. 168. So instead of having to write it really, just show me your work instead. So I, I mean, if I were to do the I can statement, I can break 24 into 20 plus 4 and then just do it that way. So you guys are going to work on these right here. You're going to do number two and number three on your own. And you can just show me your work that way. And we'll talk about it in our Zoom tomorrow. Okay? So make sure that you work through these. Look back at your book to help you. You got this.